Hey everybody, today we're talking about tempo deadlifts and I have my trusty umbrella here to act as a barbell, which I do not have in my living room. So tempo deadlifts are done very, very slowly. I have a very slow eccentric lowering and I have a very slow concentric raising during this entire lift. I try to keep tension on the muscle to maximize the fatigue that my muscles feel so that I can get the adaptations that I want, right? I want, uh, according to Joel Jameson's book, Ultimate MMA Conditioning, I want slow twitch hypertrophy, I want some uh, strength of these oxidative fibers, right? Maybe strength is the wrong word, um, I but you know, kinda. I want hypertrophy, right? I want size in my fatigue resistant muscles. So I fatigue the crap out of the entire muscle group and the type one fibers are the ones that can last and I keep training them, right? So that these sets are, you know, 30, 40, even you can go 60, you can go however long you really want to go seconds long. And uh, I, just, I just try to work the weight up if possible, though it's not really a thing that I'm ever really pushing towards. Uh, I just try to find the right weight and then that is the right weight. So tempo deadlift looks like this. Um, I am generally gonna start from the top, but let's, let's make it, this is, it's simpler to start from the top with like an RDL if you have a, a rack and you can just grab the bar and walk out and start going. Um, but let's start from the bottom because that'll be more difficult. So I'm here, I'm gonna make sure that I initiate with my legs and I come up, I bring my hips forward and I'm standing up. I'm not sitting here locked out like you might see a power lifter do at the end of a deadlift. I am going right back down, okay? And again, I shoot for about three seconds in each way. Three seconds down, three seconds up. And I'm trying to keep tension on these muscles, okay? There we go, that one was a little better. I think my shoulders were a little too low on the first couple. Yeah. Okay, and I just keep doing this for 40 seconds. I'm setting a timer, letting it go, and then I rest for about 40 seconds. I generally go 40-40 with any person that I'm working with, unless they're a little less trained, in which case I might go 30-40. Um, I usually don't subject people to 60, 40, because that's just terrible. Um, but that's how you do a tempo deadlift.